this is Jadeen FIA. I want to talk to you today about the Lydian chord, which is the fourth mode, all right, of our major scale harmony, Lydian. All right, so uh, the sound that I'm talking about is this chord here. All right, I'm going to show you how to play it pretty much off of any, any note that you want to play it off of. All right, very, very... Very nice chord. I can use it all day long. Alright, so first of all, let me show you what the Lydian mode is. Tell you what the Lydian mode is. The Lydian mode is the fourth note of our major scale uh, of our modes. The fourth note. So if we're in the key of C, alright, which is all white notes, if we go to the fourth note of the C major scale. One, two, three, and four. Alright? If we play this from F to F using all the same notes that are in the C major scale, so all white notes, it's going to give us a scale, and that's going to be our Lyd Lydian scale. Now, what you hear different is this scale has a raised fourth, all right? The regular F major scale has a B flat, all right? This scale has a raised fourth. We call it a raised fourth, we call it a sharp fourth, and we also call it a sharp 11, all right? I usually call it a sharp 11, all right? is the same right so but what this chord does is it gives us a raised fourth and anytime uh, we so what that means is anytime we play a four chord we can play this Lydian chord which is a sharp 11th or a raised fourth however you want to look at it all right so the best place to play this chord is when you're coming out of a two five one chord progression for example if I play a two all right and I'm in the key of C so I'm playing D minor seven all right I'm going to go to a uh, inverted uh, G7, alright, and then, then I'm going to go to a 1 chord, alright, and then from a 1 chord, I'm going to go to that, to my 4 chord, which I'm going to play my Lydian chord that I talked about, alright, alright, so let me show you an easy way to play this chord, very easy way to play this chord, alright, so if we look at, look at it from the terms of C, alright, what we're going to do is we're going to play the root in our left hand, which is whatever the chord is we want to play, the, the 4 chord that we want to play the Lydian chord on, we play the root in our left hand, and then in our right hand, we go up a major third, or the third note of that major scale, which is going to be E, alright, now this is what I do, I shift my thinking to a little bit, and I say, okay, if I was playing in the E major scale, alright, the first five notes of the E major scale, alright, if I play the one, the two, and the five, that's what's gonna give me my sharp 11 chord, C sharp 11 chord. And what I'm saying is, it's easier to look at it from the standpoint of, okay, I'm playing the major third in my left hand, which is E, and then I'm gonna go, and gonna, I'm gonna play the one, the first, the second, and the fifth note of this note, major scale. So the, this, the E major scale is E, F sharp, G sharp, A, and B. So I'm going to play the first note, the second note, and the fifth note. Alright, it's much easier to, especially when you're playing all over the keyboard, to see it that way instead of thinking major third, sharp 11, and major 7. Unless you just, unless, until you have an understanding of those notes like that. Alright, so in the meantime, I think this is the easiest way to look at it. So if I wanted to build that somewhere else, got my A flat. I'm going to go to my major third in the A flat, which is C. I'm not going to pretend I'm playing the C major scale or a C major chord, but I'm going to play the first, the second, and the fifth note. And that's going to give me an A flat Lydian chord. Alright? D is going to be my sharp 11. Alright? Normal A flat. D flat is for our 11th or my fourth. Sharp fourth. Alright? If I want to do it off of. Um, F, that's what, we, that's what we played in our example, since F is the fourth chord in the key of C. Alright, I've got the F in my left hand, my right hand I got the major third, and I'm playing, uh, looking at the A major scale, so I got one, two, and five. Alright. If I wanted to do it off of G, alright, go to my major third, which is B, and play a one, two, and five. So like I said, it sounds best coming out of a 2-5-1 uh, progression. Alright. 2-5-1. Going in A 
flat. All right. So anyway, I hope you can uh, play with this chord and make something happen with it. All right. It's a very nice chord. Like I said, as long as you play it right after a two five one chord progression, you should be uh, good to go. And it sounds good when you just kind of just. Random, random places. All right. So anyway, I hope this video helped. If you have any questions, please, please let me know. Thanks.